Introduction Rita, I have placed immersion rod and bucket to heat water. Do not go near it. I wanted to ask you about this. How can electricity heat water or cook food such as in an electric cooker that you use to cook rice? This is all because of heating effect of electricity. Let me explain you this. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define electric current and circuit Identify the potential and potential difference Describe the circuit diagram Explain Ohm's law Identify the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends Describe the resistance of a system of resistors Exp Electric current and circuit All things around us are made up of atoms Each has three particles, protons, neutrons and electrons Electrons spin around the center of the atom and have a negative charge. Protons are in the center of atoms and have a positive charge. An electric current is created when electrons move through a conductor. There are two types of currents. Direct current, DC. A current that flows in one direction is called a direct current or DC. For example, a battery produces a direct current. Alternating current or AC. A current that flows back. And fourth is called an alternating current or AC. The electric potential and potential difference. Let us look at the concepts of electric potential and potential difference. Electric potential. Electric potential is a scalar quantity denoted by E or V. It is a point equal to the electric potential energy of a charged particle at the location divided by the charge of the particle. Electrical potential difference. Electrical potential difference determines the direction of the flow of charge. For example, consider a pipe connected to a container through a stop cork. The quantity of water in the pipe is less than the quantity in the container. However, the level of water is higher in the pipe than the level in the container. When the stop cork is opened, the water begins to flow from the pipe to the container till the levels of water in both did you know? The I symbol was used by Andre circuit diagram. A schematic diagram is easy to represent an electric circuit. There Ohm's law. Ohm's law deals with the relationship between voltage and current. It states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the potential difference across the two points. Factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends. There are three external factors that influence the resistance in a conductor. They are thickness, length, temperature. There is a fourth factor that influences the resistance and that is the conductivity of the material. This, however, is considered an internal factor rather than an external one. Thickness. The cross-selection area of a conductor or thickness can be compared to the cross-section of a hallway. If the hall is wide, it allows a high current through it. In case of a narrow hall, it would be difficult for the current to get through. This is due to the cross-sectional area that restricts the high rate of flow. Length. The length of a conductor is similar to the length of the hallway. A shorter hallway allows movement at a higher rate than a longer one. Temperature. The temperature of a conductor does not have less effect on the resistance of the conductor. The higher the temperature, the higher is the resistance. For example, when you turn on a light bulb at the first instance, the wire is cold and has a low resistance. But as the wire heats up, it gives off light and increases the resistance. Did you know?